Hello there, welcome to this uh, learning tutorial. This learning tutorial has been designed to help those students who are trying to create a website in Dreamweaver CS4. Now, in this particular tutorial, I'm actually going to show you how to insert images in your web page. Now, if you think what you're seeing on your screen is not familiar to you, what I advise you to do is you need to go back and look at the previous tutorials that have been guiding you step by step to up to this stage. Otherwise, in this tutorial, I'm not going to mention anything apart from inserting images in your website. So, there's something I need to mention before we begin. Before you insert images in your web page, you need to make something that I really think most people forget. That is, you need to first save your images inside your website folder. As you can see on my screen, I have got a folder called images. And within this, I have managed to save all my images. Yes, I've got more folders because I want often to be more organized. For example, I have got my background images inside one folder here. And I've also got my button images inside this folder. And even maybe I've got other images that I don't want to mix between buttons. So this is what I want you to do first for me. Always save your images inside your website folder so that at least your Dreamweaver manages to know where these images are. Then next, before we even insert these images, something that most students forget is the quality of these images that you are using. For example, here, in most cases, I would see students that search for images. And once you've searched for your images, often students get images that come up first on your screen. These are not really high resolution images. For example, if I need this amazing ICT image, I find most students would right click and save this image. You don't need to do this because this is not the best image. So double click on the image that you want to use. Now this is the image. Even this is not the best image. As you can see, it's not very clear. So what we do, on your right, you can see this button that says view image. You click on the view image, you are now getting the high resolution image. So you right click and save this image. So this is really what I want you to do for me. Always first save the images, but also make sure the quality of the image you are using is really, really good. So that's really one number one thing that I don't want you to forget. So now we've got all the images that you want to use. I now need to show you how we insert images. Like you see on my screen, I have got all the active boxes that are going to take my images and I've indicated them here for you, just for your own demonstration. But for your case, you don't need to put the word image, but I just wanted to know where am I going to put my image. So I'm going to put my first image there. Now make sure your cursor is inside your active box. So I will go to insert, I will click on image. I will find a folder that has all my images. So if really I need to insert this image, I'll click on the image, then I'll click OK. Now it just ignore this box. It's very important, but for this tutorial, I'm not really going to mention about what really this box does. So just click OK. Now you can see, often your images may be bigger than the active. There are many ways to reduce this. Now, as you can see, there's a black box here on the bottom right hand corner. There are other boxes, but if you want to retain your proportion for this image, I always prefer to use this bottom right hand corner box. So I will select it and I reduce this image based on really the size I really want. Let me see if this is the best size. If that's where I want, I can stop there. But maybe I need to slightly reduce that. So as you can see, my image now has been put for me. Can I also show you another example? So I will go and I say I need to insert my second image there. Make sure your cursor is inside the active box. So click on insert. And then find your image. I think I may use uh, this image here or I may use this one here. So it doesn't matter which image you use. It's up to you really. So ignore this box for this tutorial. And now you can see. Now this image is pretty, pretty big. So another uh, solution sometimes I do is this. At the bottom here, you can see there is the sizes. I can reduce this manually, but I can also do it here. So I think if I reduce this image by we we'll take off 300 from each side. So if I say, or maybe I take off 200. So 200, that is a 300. 500 minus 200 is 300. So 
that is it. one way I can do it and also I'll take out 200 here so I will be left with 208 that's another way you can reduce these images so have a look what's happening here I could have done this manually like here I can literally reduce this yeah manual so it's really up to you the technique you want to use but you can see my active box moved so I can really move this box myself so it's entirely up to you if you want to use the property uh, settings to reduce the size of your images you can do that otherwise you can reduce the images manually using your cursor and mouse so Ladies and gentlemen, if you are listening to my tutorial, I really want you now to port your beautiful images and I hope to see wonderful images appearing on your webpage. So good luck and join me in the next tutorial.